Hey guys, welcome to another daily tip episode here. Today is Friday, March 6th, 2009. And um, today I've got a little uh, tip on um, uh, drum programming. Uh, if you've done any drum programming in the past, you'll probably know that uh, the piano roll is not the greatest tool in the world to use. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty big pain, actually. So I've got a little tip here that will hopefully make it a little easier for you. Um, as you know, the, the um, piano roll editor has a bunch of key notes on here. And um, in Reaper here, the keys are all numbered. Now, it's better than most piano roll editors. Most piano ro roll editors are only the white and black keys, and occasionally they'll have um, some um, uh, pitch uh, uh, markers. And uh, that's really a big pain to um, program drums with because each drum is on a separate key, you know. So um, I've got a little uh, tip here. And, uh, and we're going to put the actual drums, or the name of the drums, and um, uh, the different features of the drums. We're going to put those, uh, the little names on uh, each one of the keys inside of Reaper. So um, go ahead and head on over to the Reaper's website. And if you don't know, it's www.reaper.fm. And then click the resources right here. Once you get to the resources, uh, you can find your skins and stuff on here if you'd like. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to MIDI drum maps. And uh, there's all kinds of already... Uh, pre-written drum maps out there that you can just load into Easy Drum, or I mean, load into Reaper. Uh, the one I've got is Superior 2.0. That's the one I wanted to use. But they've also got AD Drums, uh, Easy Drummer, um, they've got the original DFH, um, they got other Superior packs, got BFD Drums, and then there's one big um, Easy Drummer pack up here, right there, that I also have. And, um, so you find the drum uh, pack that you want, or the drum software that you're using, uh, find it, and click on the little link here, and then it'll give you a link to download. Uh, you can just go to right-click, save link file as. Um, I've already saved it, so I don't really need to uh, save it again, but, um, I've got it saved here on my hard drive. Let's open it up, see what it looks like, and, um, as you can see, it's got all the note names. Uh, it's got like the kick, um, the snare, um, where the position as, uh, where the position the um, uh, sticks are hitting. Like uh, for example, here's floor tom two, and it's hitting the center. And then here's a snare rim shot, the snare center, a snare side stick. So it's got all the different notes on here, which is going to make life a, a lot easier. Um, so if we have that, go back to Reaper here. And um, if you don't already have a MIDI track in here, I've already got one imported. Uh, you can just go to in Insert and then New MIDI Item, and it'll give you one of these. And you just double click on it, and it opens up a um, your the Reaper MIDI editor. And once you're in this, just go up here to File, Load Note Names from File, and then go navigate to wherever you saved that. Uh, mine's right here. Click it, open, and voila. You've got all of your uh, the drums um, labeled on each key. So I thought that would be a good little tip for you guys. Um, I know it's helped me out a lot, and uh, hopefully it'll help you out. So um, if you have any questions about this or anything else, head on over to www.limitless-studios.com, and uh, you can go to our contact page and email us if you'd like, or uh, we'd actually prefer you to go to the forum we um, tend to answer that there quicker than we do e emails since we get quite a few emails. Um, so head on over to the forum, post in the requests and ideas for if you have any requests. Uh, definitely give us your requests or your ideas. Um, we can always use uh, requests and ideas. And uh, if you just want to, you can just come post your mix. We'll take a listen to it. Other people will probably take a listen to it as well. And uh, anything else you want to talk about? Uh, any questions you have, definitely come over here and join our community. Um, so I guess that's going to be it, and uh, we'll see you in another daily tip.